And now let's have a look at the unions. Okay, unions are just like structures. You can define a union, let's say identity, to store the identification of a person. So you decide to prepare a system that holds the social security number of a person or, or is the keyword here, a double variable to hold the information of his phone. So the only difference here between the structure and union, in union, a space is allocated according to the biggest size variable only. So so if this is 4 bytes and this is 8 bytes, only 8 bytes of space will be allocated in the RAM. So if you create an object with type of this, let's say Y here, the Y will have the value of SSN. You can enter his social security number, let's say something like this, or you can assign his phone. You can use, you can store his phone, but you cannot use both of them. This is the difference between a structure and a union. So 8 bytes of space will be allocated in the memory, let's say here, and this is our Y. You can only store this information or this information. So let's say if you write this information here and somewhere else in the code you write this information, this will be overwritten. So this number will overwrite the old number and this will be long gone. In structure, you can use all of the features, variables here, one by one, together. But in union, you can use either this one or this one, not both of them. Okay, I have defined my union here with the variables ID and phone. One is of type int and the other is of type double. And I named my union as identity. So any variable I create using the identifier identity, let's say info variable, I want to create my variable with this name instead of y, as I show in my course. I wanted to give a more meaningful name to it. So my info has a space only to put one of these features, not both of them. You can either set its ID or phone variable. So let's set it ID to something like this. If I want to print that value using decimal info's ID field and this is the result. But if I set my variables phone field here before printing the ID, as you can see my ID is overwritten. So this place is overwritten. I am putting the phone number over the ID because I'm using the same place. If I print my phone field using float placeholder, that is the only valid value inside that allocated space for now because you can only store one value at a single time and the space is allocated according to the biggest size variable because you can fit any other variable into 8 bytes here but you can't fit 8 bytes into 4 bytes field so it's logical you're allocating the space according to the biggest size variable here let's see the size of our union using size of function here is the result Okay, here is another use case of unions. I have defined a struct here with the name of employee. In my case, I'm storing some basic information of my employee. I'm storing the salary of an employee, name of him, and I want to store the identification number of him, but with options here, I can use either his ID or phone number because these two numbers are unique. So you can create a database using these unique numbers. So I want to make it optional to choose ID or phone of the employee. So if I create employee x here my x will have a salary a name and an identity but its identity also has options if i put one more dot notation because this is union now i can use id or phone let's say id and set it to one 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 then i can set my x's salary to something like thousand or whatever it is so i am making the identity field of my struct here optional to choose one of these by using union inside a struct. And this is one of the another use cases of union. Actually, I have never encountered any case that I have to use union in it, but here it is. If you need it, you can use it. Thanks for watching.